This is a short demonstration of some of the new interface features of VCOps 5.6. You will see that on the left side we still have our navigation uh, window and of course in the middle we still have our dashboards, health for immediate issues, what I always call a post-sale support, a risk for the immediate risks like running out of disk space and efficiency uh, for everything long term like oversized VMs. All of them are expressed in percentages so you see that in our lab we run a perfect store with 98% health, 0% risk and 93% efficiency. Yes, our boss is very proud of us. Um, you immediately see that all the uh, batches have been replaced by uh, trending graphs which show you immediately uh, how the parameters evolve over time and yes a big yes the health weather map is now clickable you see the little windows when I hover over the blocks and if there is one of interest I can click on it and I immediately jump to that object in this case a data store which has a health issue and you immediately see the root cause analysis disk space is full 76 percent so look no further why there was not an issue uh, on this object. Also in world you will see that uh, the operation details page has been rewritten. You see again the distribution over time and you see the top offenders that attribute to uh, in this case the bad health or the good health of the, of the system. You see for each parameter again what you know from vCenter operations, namely the dynamic ranges that have been learned by the system in grey. The orange dot always indicating the present value and if possible minimum and maximum values indicated. If you change for uh, faults, for example, you see the same thing but then for faults and then again the top offenders that contribute to your faults in the system. Also, if you expand the batches, like workload, for example, you can click on the graph and go straight to the operational details uh, for that object. Same thing if you navigate around, of course, you see the batches change for the object that you have the focus on. Another new view for every object is in the environment, the scoreboard. Uh, we are now on a cluster um, and you see the members list of this cluster. Very handy if you want a quick overview of all the hosts, uh, VMs and data stores belonging to this cluster. And you also get a custom overview that you can customize. In this case, uh, I can choose for one of the standard ones like health. I see a distribution of the members in health. Uh, in this case the y-axis is the health and the x-axis is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, workload. I can change this and I can go to custom and for example say that I want the color to be health, the size to be the workload, there you go, uh, and the x-axis to be, uh, for example, time remaining. That's not a good one. Everything on the right. Uh, let's say waste, for example. And then you can create your own views that have meaning to you. And of course, if you hover over the circles, like this one being yellow, because the health is yellow, that's again my software share data store that exhibited problems before. Also, you know that in uh, VCOps 5.6 we have integration with Hyperic and VCM. Therefore, we have the, the new dashboard members, which is the expanded version of what you saw before. But we also have a view now that is called Relationships. And here you can quickly see what the relationships are for this object. Obviously, uh, this cluster is part of the vCloud BE data center. And you have the vSphere host underneath. If I travel to the vSphere host, 
you will see that it's a member of this cluster and all the VMs and the data stores underneath. When you have the Hyperic integration, this becomes interesting because you can also have icons here that are actually applications like Oracle databases with their health status and with their number of KPIs that are transgressing their normal values. Also a handy novelty is that uh, we go further in the file system of the VM now. So for example if I look at the application directory server and we go to operations, details and get the overview that you all know and love except that now looking at workload for example in this case you see for every parameter a little URL that says what does this mean and if you click on that you get an explanation of what that parameter means with the link to all that we know in the knowledge base about that parameter very handy if you want to look up what is actually happening and when I scroll to the bottom to storage you now see that except for data stores and LUNs we have added the tab file systems and in this case it's a Linux VM so you only have a root file system and you see that for that root file system uh, there's 7 gigs free out of a possible 15 gigs so 53% is full and if there are any other mount points you can have a look at them too and of course if this is a Windows VM like here my Windows 7 let's click on that one of course you get the same view with the same explanation for the parameters and if you go to storage file system click on that and you see that in this case I only have a C drive and I have 17 gigs free out of a possible 24 so 29% uh, of the file system is still free that's the file system integration we have now for the file system actually running inside the VM another handy view if I go to any of the data stores and I click on the operational details uh, I see the workload but actually uh, you see the space here now you see that 33 gigabytes is occupied on this data store and you see actually underneath how it is used to known VMs so here uh, you see some shared space and here you see 8 gigs taking up by that VM base win uh, 2k8 and 6 gig by that VM let's not try to pronounce that name and 6 gig by that one so it's a very quick way very visual to see what is going on uh, in your data stores of course if you've got the modules for EMC storage or NetApp storage you can even see uh, more details.